again on returning to the succession of ideas and feelings through which i had passed while writing it i saw a dream this dream repeated for me in a condensed form all that i had lived through and described and i therefore think that a description of it may for those who have understood me serve to render clearer to refresh the remembrance of and to collect into one whole all that has been described at so much length in these pages the dream was as follows i am lying on my back in bed and i feel neither particularly well and comfortable nor the contrary i begin to think whether it is well for me to lie and something makes me feel uncomfortable in the legs if the bed be too short or ill-made i know not but something is not right i move my legs about and at the same time begin to think how and on what i am lying a thing which previously had never troubled me i examine the bed and see that i am lying on a network of cords fastened to the sides of the bedstead my heels lie on one of these cords my legs on another and this is uncomfortable i am somehow aware that the cords can be moved and with my legs i push the cord away and it seems to me that thus it will be easier but i had pushed the cord too far i try to catch it with my legs but this movement causes another cord to slip from under me and my legs hang down i move my body to get right again convinced that it will be easy but this movement causes other cords to slip and change their places beneath me and i perceive that my position is altogether worse my whole body sinks and hangs without my legs touching the ground i hold myself up only by the upper part of the back and i feel now not only discomfort but horror i now begin to ask myself what i had not thought of before i ask myself where i am and on what i am lying i begin to look round and first i look below to the place towards which my body sank and where i feel it must soon fall i look below and i cannot believe my eyes i am on a height far above that of the highest tower or mountain a height beyond all my previous powers of conception i cannot even make out whether i see anything or not below me in the depths of that bottomless abyss over which i am hanging and into which i feel drawn my heart ceases to beat and horror fills my mind to look down is too terrible i feel that if i look down i shall slip from the last cord and perish i stop looking but not to look is still worse for then i think of what will at once happen to me when the last cord breaks i feel that i am losing in my terror the last remnant of my strength and that my back is gradually sinking lower and lower another instant and i shall fall then all at once came into my mind the thought that it could not be true that it was a dream i will awake i strive to wake myself and cannot what can i do i ask myself and as i put the question i look above above stretches another gulf i look into this and try to forget the abyss below and i do forget the infinite depth repels and horrifies me the infinite height attracts and satisfies me i still hang on the last cords which have not yet slipped from under me over the precipice i know that i am hanging thus but i look only upwards and my fear leaves me as happens in dreams i hear a voice saying look well it is there i pierce farther and farther into the infinity above and i feel that it calms me i remember all that has happened how i moved my legs how i was left hanging in air how i was terrified and how i was saved from my fears by looking above i ask myself and now am i not hanging still and i feel in all my limbs without looking the support by which i am held i perceive that i no longer hang nor fall but have a fast hold i question myself how it is that i hold on i touch myself i look around and i see that under the middle of my body there passes a stay and on looking up i find that i am lying perfectly balanced and that it was this stay alone that held me up before as it happens in dreams the mechanism by which i am supported appears perfectly natural to me a thing to be easily understood and not to be doubted although this mechanism has no apparent sense when i am awake in my sleep i was even astonished that i had not understood this before at my bedside stands a pillar the solidity of which is beyond doubt though there is nothing for it to stand upon from this pillar runs a cord somehow cunningly and simply fixed and if i lie across this cord and look upwards there cannot be even a question of my falling 
all this was clear to me and i was glad and easy in my mind it seemed as if someone said to me see that you remember and i awoke